Is SSC lying to the world about one of the biggest moments ever in automotive history? Well, that is what we are going to be finding out in today's video. Three reasons why the SSC to Atari Top Speed Run was actually fake. I have done research for hours and hours, and the evidence is absolutely shocking to me and millions of other car enthusiasts around the world. I can't believe I'm filming this video. <laughs> So right before we get into the three reasons why this was actually fake, right now we are making the world first Lego Technic Lamborghini Sion with a fully functional rear deck lid. So the Lego version is looking like that. And then after it's done, it is going to look just like that. And if you have a Sion just like me, you're in luck because I will also be doing a full tutorial. So make sure you subscribe down below and ring the bell. <laughs> bunch of supercar vlogs that are coming up so if you're a car fan like me you're gonna like this channel listen to that turbo nine thousand is that a super <laughs> inside the new amg gtr <laughs> we're inside a mercy a lot <laughs> we have officially put the note on but anyway, let's jump right into the three reasons why the SSC to Atara's 331 mile an hour top speed run was actually fake. This is unbelievable. So why are people saying it's fake? Well, the main reason is that the math doesn't even add up. After a few auto manufacturers asked SSC about the top speed run on Instagram, SSC immediately blocked the manufacturers that did so, which is really actually shady and could mean they're hiding something. They could be hiding something big really big. A few people have actually calculated the math behind this, and one of the people being Shmi150, which is a very popular automotive YouTuber, along with Life of Palos. So the first reason is a reason that people really didn't say, and it has to do with the tires. What SSE did with the Pilot Sport Cup 2s, which is the tire that's used on the SSE to Atara, is SSE filled it with nitrogen to keep stability. A fact is that no tire can withstand 300 mile an hour speeds without having some sort of special bonding to the tire to the rim. Yes, they filled it with nitrogen but no gluing, no bonding, no bolting on, just nitrogen, which really has nothing to do even with bonding things together. This means that the two Atara could have been going slower than 300 miles an hour. The second reason is that SSC only used one company's GPS system to verify the 331 mile an hour top speed, which was a company called Duatron. Normally, they should use at least two or more GPS systems to determine the official top speed, but SSC only used one, and the worst part was... It was wrong. And if you look back at the official top speed run of the SSC to Atara, they literally blocked the POV camera, which was down here in the bottom right hand corner. They only revealed the driver's point of view from the windshield. Right below the windshield was where the speedometer was, and they blocked that with the Duatron GPS system, and the GPS system wasn't even accurate. So they literally hid the entire GPS system, which means that they probably didn't say what the speed that they went. According to Oliver James Webb, which is the person who drove the SSC to Atara on the top speed run, he says the speedometer stops at 300 miles an hour, but the car can even go faster than that. And he actually even said himself, he didn't even know he was going 331 miles an hour. Did you even know that you had hit it at the time? So actually, no, I hadn't because the speedo in the car stops at 300 miles an hour. Because I mean, well, what speedo needs to go over 300 miles an hour? He was just trying to go as fast as he could without even knowing that he was going that fast. And this third reason is that the math doesn't add up. And why do I say that? Well, people are saying it's fake because of the distance it took to go the speed that it went. The video of the two tar going 331 miles an hour didn't make sense if you actually look carefully because the rate of the speed, I repeat, the rate was not the same as the Duatron GPS system. The two tar was going actually slower than what it read on the Duatron GPS system. Also, what I'm about to say also ties in between this third reason. People have calculated the distance it went to go what SSE claimed 331 miles an hour and it took the exact same distance to go 331 miles an hour as the Koenigsegg Agera RS did when it hit the world record of 277 miles an hour on the exact same strip of road as the SSC to Atara did 331. This means it went slower than 331 miles an hour 
which was absolutely shocking to millions of people, including me. And guys, that is basically it for three major reasons why the SSC to Atara's top speed run was actually fake. I was so happy, excited, and pumped up when it went 300 miles an hour, but everything just went down after that. This is one of the most shocking things that has ever happened in automotive history. 331 miles an hour is a big deal. I don't know why SSC to Atara would just fake that. Only two hypercars ever have done that, one being the SSC to Atara, which actually wasn't real, and the Bugatti Chiron 300 Plus. Tell me y'all's thoughts in the comments below, but again, we're making the world's first Lego Lamborghini Sion with a fully functional rear deck lid. Subscribe for the full tutorial and full revealing coming soon, along with a bunch of supercar vlogs that are coming up. But anyway, we're out in three, two, one. <laughs> Nineteen hundred horsepower. I like the speedsters. Three SVJs. Insanity.